Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about creating rooms, exposed walls, perimeter and area. All right, so let's get into it. So what we're going to do is now create a room. So click on the room here, click anywhere and drag. Okay, so this room is going to be 10 by 9. Okay, here we go. So this room, let's say that this is a bedroom. Bedroom, bed, bedroom number one. There we go. So this is bedroom number one, and my dimensions, as you can see, are from here to here, 10 feet, and from here to here, the dimensions are nine feet. Okay, so this room or this bedroom is going to it is 10 by 9 feet. If we're gonna go and see the, all the details of this room, except for the room itself, which is in the property sheet. Okay, so that's gonna be for another video. All these characteristic uh, characteristics we're gonna we're, we'll cover in on, in another video. Okay, so now let's go to the wall. So again, number one, we're gonna check on the property sheet in here, and then right click. And then in here we have three tabs, okay? Room is for another video, so we have wall, ceiling, and floor. So for the wall, we need to see what are the exposed walls, okay? So the exposed wall is going to be a little bit bolded. As you can see, this perimeter is completely exposed and right soft or manual J always takes care of that very much. Okay, so what matters in heat load calculations are always whatever is exposed. So in here in the wall, it's telling you how much of area, gross area is exposed. So in here you see wall number one is 342. Okay, that much wall is exposed. And why, why is that? Okay, we're gonna see and do this calculation. So that exposed wall is going to be the following. So it's gonna be 10 by the height so where is the height? The height of, of this room is by default nine. Okay, so that would be 10 by nine. Let's go, I'm gonna bring my calculator right here. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna move this in here a little bit. There we go, okay. Okay, so that's gonna be 10 by nine. Okay, let's go again, nine, okay. So 10 by nine, equals 90 so this wall is 90 therefore the other wall is 90 so 90 plus 90 i have 180 right okay so if we have 180 now let's go for the other one this is nine in length right okay let's go for that one so that's going to be nine times what is the height of that wall nine nine times nine equals 81 okay so now 91 right 91 but we have two walls see this is 9 by 9 but the other wall is the same dimensions so that would be 81 times two walls okay that's gonna be 162 okay so now we have all the areas so that's gonna be 180 plus 162 the total exposed wall is going to it is uh, 342 in order to do it so we don't need to do that calculation but it's always important to know how everything is working that's why it's this is the hvac is mad so now we go to the wall and they already tell you see it's 342 342 Okay, that is actually the exposed wall. What about the ceiling? If you go to the ceiling, it tells you that the area of exposed ceiling is 90. So how do they get with the 90? You go here, again to my calculator, the area is gonna be this itself, nine times 10. So nine times 10 equals 90, right? And the same way, the exposed area of the floor is gonna be 90 because it's nine, times 10 okay so now we're going to do another calculation very quickly so which is uh, about the oh 
about the perimeter what is the perimeter exposed of the floor so the perimeter is going to be nine see let's do it again nine no let's do nine which is this plus ten plus ten plus this dimension is nine two nine plus this dimension from here to here is ten okay so the exposed perimeter is 38 so 38 so any time that you need to find out what are the properties or what's the area you just gotta go to property sheet you're gonna go click in wall ceiling and floor okay and order also another uh, part that i wanted to mention in here what happens if you have a window let's make a window in here so we're gonna make a window of three there we go right so let's see what is the size of this window the window is going to be a three by four see three by four three by four what's the area three times four is 12 so you have 12 square feet of area of window okay so what what how many walls does this have does this room have this room has four walls one wall is to the north wall to the west wall to the south wall to the east so the wall to the east is not going to be complete gross area so if we go if we go here so let's go here in the worksheet which wall did we say we say the wall to the east this is this is the wall to the east and then that wall here here we go we have these two one and two this is the wall with the glass window window and glass so the wall to the east what is the gross area is 90 why is it 90 remember the gross area is 90 because we have this dimension this is 10 and the height is 9 9 times 10 is 90 that's the gross area of that exposed wall okay so we have done nine times uh, that's the gross wall nine times ten right or ten times nine so what is the mps that mps is called the net area perimeter and shaded area you don't need to know that but it's just to, it's interesting to know what it means right that, that's all okay so what is this net perimeter and shaded area that's going to be what was the area of the window the window the gross area of the window is 12 so what is the wall minus the window the wall minus the window is going to be the mps which is the net area so the net area is going to be 90 minus 12 it's going to be 78 technically what we're doing is we're subtracting this window uh, of this wall that's all it's, it's it's like a cavity all right all right that was uh one one more thing for this video what happens if you have in here a partition so we're gonna make another room right here what happens if you have this now as you can see what is it exposed everything that is exposed is in bolded lines see this is bolded line exposed 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 and then my wall in the interior is not bolded is not is not that color is a little bit thinner is thinner that means that that wall is a partition partition walls are okay they are conditioned it doesn't matter what we care and the heat load calculations care, care is the exposed walls any exposed walls are very important that's why if you put a door in the front for example see three by seven most likely so i'm gonna put in here this is three by seven you need to know if this door is exposed is it exposed yes why because it's on that wall and then you're gonna have see 21 uh, square feet of that door Wh which wall is this this wall is the south okay we're gonna go here to the south uh, here this is the south wall so in the south wall again you have the gross area which is 81 and then you have the square feet the gross area of the door which is 21 and then you do 81 minus 21 that's going to be 60 of net free area for the wall why why is that because it's exposed so whatever is more important for my heat load calculations are whatever is exposed what happens if i have a door inside if i have a door inside Wait, wait a minute if i have a door inside right here guess what see i have a door inside 
you don't have to worry about the doors that are inside because they are conditioned. We they, they, it, it doesn't do anything. So that's why whenever we're doing any room heat loads, we don't worry about the in the inner doors. We only worry about the doors that are exposed and the windows that are exposed. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, hit the like button and subscribe. Okay. Thanks for watching. HVAC is my channel.